answer could be five. started in magic? How old were you when you started in magic? And where do you learn your tricks? Well, in a nutshell, I started when I was 13 years old. My dad showed me one of two card tricks to you. I don't know what the other one was, but the one he showed me got me hooked. So there I went down to the public library, checked out every book they had on magic. Then I joined the International Brotherhood of Magicians. And if you're uh, interested in magic, you might want to consider becoming a member. I think we've got some brochures up in the lobby, or you can talk to any one of us after the show. We'd love to have you. Let's see, when I was 15, I did the first show where I actually got paid. That was pretty exciting. When I was 18, before my hair decided to turn gray, it decided to turn loose. <laughs> As for where I learned my tricks, lots of places. There's lots of great magic books out there. I've learned a lot just by becoming a member of the International Brotherhood of Magicians. Uh, see, the internet's a great resource. And there's some great DVDs out there. And just recently, I joined the Trick of the Month Club. And uh, I was kind of hoping to get this. This is my first shipment here. I was hoping to get a little earlier so I could have it prepared for you tonight. But then I got to thinking, well, wouldn't it be great if you guys could witness an actual rehearsal and, and watch me perform this trick for the first time? Would you like that? CG? <laughs> I 
subscribing to the Trick of the Month Club. This is the first in a series of amazing tricks you'll receive. Do you have a problem being cool? Do you often long to be the center of attention? Do you wish that someone, anyone, would give you a standing ovation? Well, Sparky, wish no more. With these tricks, you will become a dazzling, graceful, and suave magician and be able to amaze and amuse your friends for hours. Don't you want to become an amazing magician? Do you? Do you? I thought so. This month's trick has a lot of audience appeal. It's called... The Amazing, Mystical, Vanishing Pantana! Rule number one, a magician must have a cool pose to begin. Look, not exactly what we had in mind, but we will work with what you've got. Rule number two, Remember, a savings bond will eventually mature and make lots of money. A magician will not. <laughs> and rule number three, never tell how the trick is done. Never, ever, ever, we mean it. In fact, before we begin, you must take the magician's secret oath. Now raise your right hand. No, the other right hand, and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, state your name. <laughs> no, don't say state your name, say your name. I, I, your name. Marty, the Magnificent. <laughs> promise, promise, to never, ever, to never, ever, 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 tell the secret, tell the secret, of the magic trick, of the magic trick, I also promise, I also promise, to never, to never, ever, <laughs> ever, repeat, repeat, what other people, what other people, tell me to say. <laughs> Great. Now let's get started. For this mystery, we've packed everything you will need in the package. Step one, examine the contents of the box. We are now ready to begin the lesson. Please pay attention. I said pay attention. <laughs> Step number two. Pick up the yellow bandana and show it to the audience. Wave it up and down and from side to side so that everyone can see that it's just an ordinary bandana. You can even tie it around your neck if you wish. Now fold it in half. That's right, I said fold it in half. What are you waiting for? I said fold it in half. There you go. Step three, fold the bandana one more time. <laughs> Step four, take the folded bandana and hide it in your left hand. We have a fancy name for this move here at the Magic Trick of the Month Club. We call this one, hiding it in your left hand. Pretty fancy, huh? Remember to keep your hand in a natural position. <laughs> Now that you've learned to hide it in your left hand, we can continue. Step five, unfold the bandana and wave it up and down to prove to your audience that it is a real bandana. 
<laughs> if any one of the audience does not believe it as a real bandana, offer them the opportunity to wipe their face with it. Or <laughs> Step six. Temporarily place the yellow bandana down and pick up the square of cloth. Gather the four corners to create a little makeshift bag. Hurry up! We're going to run out of time. Step seven. Pick up the bandana and use your free hand to fold the bandana along the creases you made earlier. Just do it. Now, drop the bandana into the makeshift bag. Step eight. From the outside of the makeshift bag, squeeze the bandana into a tight little ball. What the audience doesn't know is that you didn't really drop it into the bag. You actually had it hidden in your left hand. What? You didn't really put it in there, did you? You did? Well, if this happens, we have a fancy name for this, too. We call this one... Oops! <laughs> Remember to keep your hand held naturally. <laughs> Step nine. Make a magical gesture over the bag. <laughs> now, to receive your well-deserved round of applause, strike your cool pose and flip open the cloth to show that the bandana has completely vanished. is a lot of hard work, and hard work will make you very hungry. So as a special added bonus from our sister company, the Fruit of the Month Club, please enjoy the enclosed complimentary banana. <laughs> and remember, a good magician never reveals the secret. <laughs>